This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction The modern world has witnessed the emergence of a new form of creative expression known as graffiti. It is usually represented by writings or drawings on walls, which are in many cities prohibited. There is a debate on whether this type of artistry is art or vandalism. Given the comprehensive nature of art and the time and care necessary to produce a piece of graffiti, it should be considered a form of art. Definition of Art Before determining the appropriateness of calling graffiti art, it is essential to understand what is meant by art. It is an extremely wide term that encompasses a large array of human activities. In its most general definition, almost anything created by a person can be considered art. However, children's drawings are not displayed in a museum, although they also can be an example. The same principle of distinguishing creations by the fact of their existence applies to graffiti. Graffiti is a form of art because it requires creativity and artistic expression. Any form of drawing or aesthetic writing cannot be accomplished without skill and talent. Graffiti is complex creation consisting of numerous details and stylistic choices. An individual without the knowledge of the basics of drawing and the ability to use a paint stick is not capable of producing an adequate graphical piece. As a result, the limitations in people's capacity in graffiti production exemplify it as art. It should also be noted that not all art in history was immediately recognized as such. Some of the creations, which are socially accepted and positively regarded today, were also previously condemned. As arch writers point out, statues and other works of art flaunting penises and the naked body were considered perverse and sacrilegious. Therefore, the current lack of tolerance toward graffiti does not mean that perception will not change over time. Quality is a prerequisite. Many people do not acknowledge this type of drawing as art. Graffiti's ambivalent status is due to the lack of official quality criteria. Whereas it is possible to analyze a painting relying on a set of artistic standards, there are no established and agreed guidelines for evaluating graffiti. Nevertheless, the absence of formal recognition does not devalue the efforts that are necessary to embellish walls with aerosol paint. It might even be possible that the lack of rules for making graffiti is precisely what distinguishes it as art. Graffiti is one of the purest forms of art, supporters say, because it can exist without support or syndication from the mainstream art establishment. In essence, nothing constrains an artist from delivering the work they envision. The freedom of expression further solidifies graffiti's position as art. Just like any human creation, pieces of graffiti differ based on quality. Writing and drawing on walls have evolved into a subculture. Its representatives have their own conception of techniques and standards for creating a work of graffiti. Moreover, the illegal nature of these drawings has forced creators to work faster, incorporating stencils. As a result, graffiti has grown more complex and specialized, including stickers and other media besides spray paint. Overall, the qualitative features of graffiti have added to its artistic value. Functions of Art most pieces of art convey a creator's message or artistic idea. Graffiti is not an exception since it emerged as a means to voice social displeasure. As supporters of attributing graffiti to art claim, it provides a tool for communicating with the larger population. Like many other forms of visual art, like caricatures, cinema, or paintings, writing on walls can draw attention to social issues, propagate an idea, and, in any other way, execute the communicative function of art. Another purpose of art is to set the tone and accentuate an artist's feelings. In a similar manner to typical visual art, graffiti can also brighten the mood. Colorful drawings and writings on walls can make urban surroundings less grim and more joyful. Graffiti can impact a person emotionally and psychologically, appeal to their sense of beauty, and entertain them, thus functioning as any other work of art. Probably the most evident feature of art is that it does not have to be enjoyed by everyone. 
There are pieces that are appraised as manifestations of genius and dismissed as shallow objects at the same time. Graffiti also forms a wide range of reactions, from those who consider it evidence of criminalization and vandalism to those who sincerely uphold it as the modern iteration of street art. Functions of Art Altogether, graffiti can, by all means, be considered a form of art. It requires skill and lets artists express their ideas and sentiment. Some graffiti can be characterized as possessing exceptional quality rivaling socially accepted works of art. The opinion and legal status can change over time, with the current condemnation of graffiti being a contemporary phenomenon. Ultimately, it executes all functions typical of art and should subsequently be recognized as such. This essay on arguments for graffiti as art was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for.